I mentioned to you last yeah. year, so how they were very uh, just with you, they were like uh, very happy to see your performance. So how do you take that as a challenge this year to compete with some of the finest uh, goalkeepers of the nation? Yeah, first of all, I'm very lucky to play against them, uh, like a big goalkeeper like Suprat or Gurpri, I mean the like Indian national team goalkeeper. Like I, I was very lucky to play, but it's not about only the lucky, it's my hard work as well. So, uh, last season I tried my best, I tried my, my 100% for the team, I tried to help for uh, our team and yeah, I'm looking forward to it for this season as well. I work, I'm working right now very hard uh, to give more in this season. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope the results will be good this season. More, yeah. For us, first match will be difficult, uh, as we all know, because this will be our first match for the first uh, this six seasons ISL. So and we are ready. And it's not only about the like winning and all. So it's all. It also how we play. We try to improve. Like last year, we played better, so we will play more better in this season. And it's not only about the winning, we don't know what the outcomes will be, but uh, we will give our best and it will be, will be a difficult game for a first match, but we will give our best. It's a plus point with our supporter, we have a great supporter and yeah, playing in front of our crowd, it, it, it gives us a best, like it gives us the boost to play, like to give our best 100%. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a good, uh, it's a good, will be match, good will be match. As we all know, Bangalore. Bangalore is the best, like one of the best team in ISL. So I'll choose Bangalore. It will be difficult. What would be your comments on lifting the trophy ISL season six? See, as I told you just now, it's not only about the trophy. It's, uh, like we want, we want to improve. Like how we played last year, we played very well, and we will we try to improve more uh, as a team, as a player, and we will try to improve our uh, playing style. And yeah, of course, every, every team wants to win the ISLs, and we are swinging forward to it uh, to win the ISL. But for, uh, for me, it's, it's about improving our style, playing of style, uh, improving myself as a team. And yeah, uh, to leave a trophy is one of our goals in the team. Yeah, last season, I, I didn't even think, I didn't even thought of playing ISL, but uh, by luckily, or like, by the God grace, I played. Now, this season, I am aiming to wear a golden gloves. And so, we'll, so I have to be the best so to wear that. So I'll give my best to wear that. And going very well here in Goa. The weather is a little bit, uh, yeah, hit. Um, so, but we we are doing our best. We're giving our best. Like we are having a gym session. We are having a training session. So uh, recovering well and pre-season match going on well. So we are ready for the um, first match and for the season six. Thank you. Uh, everyone is talking about you, the bigger signing, bigger signing of this season. How do you take that when, when you are known as the biggest signing? Uh, I think it's a lucky player. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's a big challenge for me to prove that I am one of the best for the signing to, to prove that I need to give my 100% for the, the club so it's a huge lens for me to be part of FC Goa and to prove that I'm a good player you must have seen the amazing fans uh, already there are two three uh, friendly matches that yeah. happened on them and you've seen the phrase the people have in yeah. FC Goa so what is your take on when it comes to the fans of FC Goa how do you feel what time how are the fans feeling fans see I already told you in the last interview fans are Football fans are very important. It take one rule, big rules for the players. You know, fans have a big rules for the players. So I think fans are very important as a player for the game to uh, be a part of FC Goa fans. And I'm really grateful that I'm a part of FC Goa. And I'm showing the fans are like you know made on the players. So they are really supportive. They don't know how they support the player. They feel like. It's a blessing for the player to be having a such type of fans in the club, you know. So we are really grateful for them, and I hope they are uh, continuously support us so that we give and we can also uh, encourage our, ourselves. Okay. Now coming back to position, how important is the position in Mexico? Because you have lots of defenders, there are players, but you have who have made their name already in the team, yeah. and you have to make your name this year. So how do you think your position? Uh, for the yeah, it's 
really important. Like each position has their own role, own kind of role. You know, like winger, I play for a winger. I have my own role. So I need to be uh, understand what role coach want me to play and what role I am having on the team, so that I can fulfill that role uh, perfectly. Then it helps the club, it helps the team to win the game. So it's really important that I know my role and understand. And it's like you say, you mentioned about the past. There is lots of good players, yeah. and so I need to prove that I can be one of that uh, perfect uh, winger for the uh, team to be like winning the game. Okay. Last time, you are the winger of the team at the moment, so you have lots of responsibility to take care of the wings of the yeah. game. Okay. Yeah. How uh, how important? Important in terms of game is so much because if I don't know the game situation, I might lose my role. Yeah. So then the team might affect it because of me. So I need to understand the game situation as well as the role of which I am in the game. So that I help in terms of attacking, defensive, including all the uh, team spirits. You know. So I need to understand the situation where I am where to be there and what to do. I need to study the game so that I can take my role perfectly and it helps the game. That is the most important for me to understand the game. The, f the most important thing is to understand the game according to the situation and when to do what to do. Coming back to pre-season, now how is the pre-season going on till date and what is the expectation for the next 20 days? So far, I enjoy a lot. When I come there, it's been a huge gap, like for four months I was in hometown and I was really unfit really, you know. But as I come, I started from the beginning and in the last three weeks I enjoy a lot. And I already mentioned that this practice season was one of my best practice season in my career. And I hope that in the coming weeks also I still enjoy and we still enjoy as a team to together and to part and work for the club as much as I do. Having uh, getting trained. Yeah. yeah. How do you think of that? What is your take on it? See, for me, I don't experience much this type of practice in the, in the past season. Okay. So I'm so excited and I enjoy the, the way how they we play together. One touch, two touch football, you know, it's, it's different uh, from me. I, I will. <laughs> I want to because I live almost all the trophy. Okay. I live I live Federation Cup. So now, uh, it's time to leave ISL and it's been like seven season now since from the beginning I was with ISL and I don't even uh, not that once so uh, I'm eagerly waiting for the time that I leave ISL's uh, trophy for my hands. I would like to thank for the f uh, first time I will thanks for supporting in the first uh, past years and I would like to wish again that uh, we want as a player we want your support always like you do in the first past years and we also thanks for the wonderful support which you always uh, been for us that's what we miss thank you so much good good everything is is, uh, is going good we are getting fit eh? slow and we have played some friendly games and now the the, the level of the of the opponents has increased a little bit and we are happy no no injuries or few injuries, so that's the most, the most important. No, arrive in the in the best moment in to the to the beginning of the of the league. Well, um, first of all, we know that uh, what we did uh, the last season is part of the past. No, uh, we are very proud of the of the season we we, we did. Uh, about our performance, we arrived to the final of the ISL. We we won the, the first trophy of the history of the club, and we are very proud. And now is this moment to to be ambitious, uh, to think in in, in make uh, a new one and good performance, and we want to, to improve that that goals. So we are ambitious. Uh, I think it's, it's good to be ambitious. No, uh, we know that. Other clubs wants to win the, to win the ISL, no, and we will have tough rivals to, to win. But if you don't have ambition, it's better than you don't start, no. So 
uh, I think we we know that pass is the pass, but this season we will have uh, another option to to win the league. Well, uh, I think it, it's gonna be tough, sure, because they have signed important players. They they have the the base of the last season and when they were champions and. As, as he showed against us in the final of the Super Cup, Chennai is a, a very tough uh, rival, so it will be a, a tough game. No? But, well, we are confident, we, we have a good team and we want to start with good feelings and with, uh, with a win with our supporters. No, I don't think so. As uh, my experience here in, in, in India, in ISL, the, the games in uh, away and home are very similar. Uh, the, um, the style of the, of the clubs, of the teams, doesn't, don't change a lot playing away or playing home. But that's true that we, we feel very comfortable playing in Fatorda, so we want to be uh, strong at home. Our fans are, are amazing, no? we, we feel their support every game at home. When we have played away, so we are looking forward to play facing them and we need uh, their support again this season. Fashion is ageless. Fashion is new age. Fashion is feeling special on festive days. Oh, I'm ready to go. Fashion is family festive wear. Fashion is unlimited. This festive season, shop at the nearest unlimited store. Se carga bastante la espada, las articulaciones. 
y el clima, el clima pues aquí sudas mucho más y te, te, te tienes que hidratar mucho más y para los jugadores que no somos de aquí pues sí que no notamos más, eh, evidentemente los jugadores indios pues están más adaptados y yo creo que estas dos diferencias son las que son importantes. También eh, si en España puedes eh, jugar contra equipos de nivel eh, está bien, si no puedes pues más o menos lo mismo. Um, obviously here you have to adapt to certain things. Uh, one is the obvious factor is the climate. Uh, here obviously you sweat a lot more and especially if you're not a player who's local who's adapted to the thing, it takes you a little bit of time to sort of you know get used to that. The second thing is obviously the pitch as well, you know it's a little bit harder here so which means there's a lot more load on your body which means that you know if you have to look after yourself a little bit better and ensure that you know you're in bad condition in that sense. Uh, and the last thing that I would mention is the fact that in Spain you know sometimes the quality of opposition might be a little bit better than here but otherwise there's not much of a difference in that, uh, in that regard. Uh, and just a little bit of a little short of time, we need to stop one minute before you intend to finish because we have an all-in-year eating. Okay. So we'll take maybe one question. Uh, I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. Uh, as you said, more than scoring, you're more focused to lift the trophy. So how will being focused contribution to lift the trophy without not getting the, not aiming towards the goal? Sorry, sorry. What will, what will Koro's contribution be? Yeah. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tengo que hacer, aunque no, no, no sean goles, ¿Qué, qué? para sí, ganar la liga? Eso, eso, eso. Eh, evidentemente, lo más importante es que el equipo esté bien y después eh, marcar goles será una consecuencia. Los marcaré yo, los marcará otro jugador. Pero eh, se puede contribuir pues, trabajando más, eh, dando más, eh, intentar dar más pases intentar mar marcar más goles porque aunque no quiera hacerlo quiero marcar goles eh, lo único que quería decir es que mi objetivo no es marcar goles personalmente eh, mi objetivo es como todos en el equipo es ganar la historia uh, evidently the aim of the team is always to obviously win and as many matches as possible and win the title right uh, so okay what does one do without having to score goals well you know you make more passes you try and create goal scoring for others because Ultimately, goal scoring is a consequence of good things being done elsewhere on the pitch. So if it means that somebody else is scoring or whether I'm scoring, it means that you know we're doing things well. So while I'm not saying that golden boot is my primary objective, if I'm scoring goals and if it means that the team is doing well, obviously we want to keep doing that as much as possible. So the aim is to always obviously improve with each other, you know, try and give more assists or whatever. Uh, but ultimate aim is always to win the ISL and not look at an individual uh, honor rather than the collective honor. I'm so proud to play for FC Goa because it's like a family for me. And, uh, in Goa, the football is in, uh, the, in their blood, so I'm very much happy to be back to Goa. How is the pre-season treating you so far? Uh, pre-season, we are doing uh, very well and we are improving day by day in the tra training session. And uh, we have to know the players uh, very well. For me, we are now getting ready for the uh, uh, ISL to start. And uh, in the midfield, it's a big role and a big responsi responsibility for me because uh, there are other teams also, they are very good. They are playing with the foreigners and I'm the Indian midfielder playing. So I have a big responsibility and uh, I just want to give my best the way I played last season also. And this season, I want to give my best more and more. the team is doing well the national team and the coach is also very good and beside myself I feel sad that I'm not in the team but I still I'm hoping to get back in the national team and give my best for this upcoming season. Uh, there are plenty of youngsters in the team the team has to go out and for looking upon like you know fighting the place so like where do you see this young lads like, like how much more time do you think they need to get into the team? 
are there any like uh, Princeton, this uh, Lister, there are like a lot of players in the dev team for playing. Uh, right now they are training with us and uh, they have a huge responsibility so whenever they get a chance they have to prove themselves and in training they are doing well and uh, it's uh, last thing is up to the uh, gaffer so he is the man who can give them a chance and if they get a chance in practice matches and all they have to give uh, their best. Princeton was performing in the practice matches and scored by the coach played well. Do you think he's ready to rejoin the senior team? Oh, there's a lot more he has to learn. Uh, <laughs> right now I can't say anything, but uh, it, it's up to the coach, I said. And day by day, they will be in training session, they have to improve. And uh, it, now they have to be ready. Like uh, whenever in midfield there's a no player, they have injuries and all. So they have to be ready, strong. And mentally and physically. You have played in the I League for Bangalore and now playing in the ISL. How is the Indian football shape both the leagues? Like, and which one do you think like should stand out? Like, there's a lot of debate going. Uh, for me, ISL because uh, most of the foreign players they are coming in and uh, the standard is high. So you, uh, in ISL, the standard is different. Like uh, playing with the ball and all. And I League. It's also the same, but uh, for me, ISL is first. Last season we uh, lost by a whisker, like, and uh, that is a lesson for us. So that uh, we are, we have to be ready for this season, and uh, uh, we, we will improve and uh, try to win this time. So, uh, Super Cup is already here. So, is the aim this year to win the titles? Before the start of the pre-season, our coach told the press. I think I don't know. He told us. That uh, this time they are going for double. Let's see. Now we are preparing for that, and hopefully we'll uh, give our best and try to win. Thank you so much. So, you have uh, given one of your finest performances last season, also, and then you have signed for another three years. So, how do you take on that? What's your take on that? I'm very, very happy to to continue with uh, FC Goa because uh, I know everybody very well here, everybody knows me, all the co all the, the staff, the management people, all my teammates. So I think we'll, be, we'll keep going in the same in the same way. Last year, the last 10 minutes I can say, FC did make it to lift the trophy. So what is your take on that on this year? How do you see that? We got one trophy last season. We got uh, the Super Cup. This is the first uh, trophy of uh, Segoa history. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to, to get the, the ISL. So this is our target uh, this season. Uh, what will be Hugo's contribution towards lifting the trophy this season? I hope that I will, I will do better than last season that I will be maybe more decisive for the team, uh, more regular in my performance, that I will score more goals, do more assists, even if of course the most important is to get to the, the three points uh, each game. Well, now it's almost half past the preseason, so how was the preseason till date and uh, what is your take on the upcoming first match against Chennai next year and opening your campaign of ISL season 6 and Goa? Uh, of course, we are getting ready uh, right now for the, the new season. We did already some uh, friendly games. We have new fr friendly games against good team, good high league teams, strong team. So uh, I think it's a good preparation for the for the new season, and we'll uh, we'll be ready for the, the first game at home against uh, Chennai, then uh, Bengaluru. Flamboyant uh, midfielders in the team. The Very most 
stylish and you know influential. How do you? Uh, how does the youth FC Goa youth and the development players look upon you? And yeah, yeah. So we have already in our team few few players from the development team. Uh, uh, Princeton, Kingsley and Gamma. Uh, Gamma played last season, he did it well and I, I, can, I can see uh, every day at the training that uh, Princeton and Kingsley are very very good players. I like that kind of uh, player. They have, the, they have the style that the, the coach wants. So I, uh, even we can, uh, I can say Liston also for example. And uh, it's uh, it's good for the future. I think Goa in Goa you have a lot of good young players, good former players. So uh, I think they will. It will bring more young players from Goa is the, in the in the next uh, next years. Both are different, of course, but it's their pre-season. Uh, of course, there is the, that difference about the climate. Uh, here, it's a bit difficult in uh, September in Goa because the mansion uh, season. Uh, but it's uh, as I, I said, it's their pre-season. We're playing a lot of games, friendly games, and I think that. Uh, it's good also for us to be to be here, to be to be here and go out and play a few games. We've already played like three preseason friendlies. Okay, do you think uh, uh, compared to what preseason you have played last year in Spain? Okay, Sorry. last year you guys played preseason in uh, Spain, and this year you played in Goa. Okay, where do you, what is the difference that you find with the teams that you play against? You know, it's a bit difficult uh, to respond to that question, but uh, yeah, we play a few games, not very good games there in Spain, the truth. But we play when we came back uh, uh, here in Goa last year against uh, Indian Arrows and East Bengal, so it was a very good game. And this year we begin by a uh, few local teams good for the first game to play against that kind of team to to get fit and now we are beginning to play against good uh, good team like uh, Kashmir today South United then Minerva Punjab I think so yeah it's good to to play against that kind of team who are strong and uh, will uh, make us ready to, to the league. What is uh, Hugo's message for the fans? Um, guys keep going to support us to the stadium because for us it's very it's very important uh, to have you in the stadium the support uh, is amazing by the Goan fans and I can only tell them that we'll, uh, we'll try to, to do our best to show again a, a very nice style of football and to, to get the ISLT 